should we stick to a one mazhab assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has never told us that the madhab is going to be created after me and everybody is going to be stick with that madhab but the rather that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to stick with the quran and uh, stick with the pure sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now the question comes up because there are several ahadith and there's thousands of ahadith and we have to uh, uh, find we have to know the classification and the science of ahadith and how to differentiate between the uh, ahadith from starting all the way from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam line uh, coming up to all the way up to the um, imam bukhari rahmatullah alaihi and the other scholars so uh, we some uh, the muhaddis has to know the chain of narrations and he had to have a knowledge enough uh that which sahaba was authentic which sahaba was a false which sahaba could lie or some has some uh, lying habit or some sahaba has any fault problem so the muhaddis has to go through all the chain of narrations and then based on that he has to to verify which hadith is sahih and which uh, hadith is zaif or the fabricated so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Uh, to stick with the Quran and stick with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But but the time that we are living in, when we say the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallam, it's it's not enough actually, because what happens like we have to in order to to stick with the Sunnah, we have to know all the Hadith and from the Hadith we have to filter all the Hadith and we have to filter what is Zayf and what is uh, fabricated and Maldu and th- there are so many Zayf and uh, um, fabricated hadith that the people are following so we cannot say this is the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but rather to filter those hadith and filter out the sahih ones and follow the sahih hadith so then you can stick to the quran and the sahih hadith and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not told us to stick uh, to following mother or anything because um, first of all the mother does not exist at the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the mother was came out because after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there was so many matters which the the public was un, uh, unable to find the answer so there was a black poor scholar that was came it was not only poor black scholar but there was a more a scholar but but they was with these four were the most uh, proper ones and uh, they just give their opinion which is not contradicting quran which is not contradicting the the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so everybody has the option uh to to follow or not to follow and the based on all these four sunnah schools uh, schools of thoughts uh, the public has the option to which one to follow but sticking to just one matter this was not uh, told by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam like for example if the four uh, sunnah schools give some option uh, opinion and i give my opinion so if somebody would say okay no he was a great scholar no he you are the great scholar i'm going to follow you i never said that nobody ever said that not imam ibn hani abu hanifa or the imam shafi or imam um, ibn hamal or imam malik rahmatullah alayhi may allah bless them all uh, they never told us to follow my mother this is the later generation who restrict themselves to particular mother and they they they, they just do not want to leave it they were to speak whatever they were the imam is doing so now the the second other problem is that that education has been arrived to today from that mother that books was not authentically was written by the by the same scholar like from uh, imam abu hanifa the books that uh, all the the people following them uh, hanifi mother the books they are studying uh, till today this is not uh, authentically 100% uh, correct where the people are following the books today this is like uh, uh, too many times has been changed up till today and the people are thinking this was a uh, the saying of the uh, imam abani rahmatullah alayhi so sticking to the mazhab maybe uh, people will get misguided and the generation is keep getting misguided because sticking to the one mazhab so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says stick to the quran and stick to the sahih hadith so you're going to be staying on the sirat al-mustaqim